1170, you're listening to Retirement Journey with Justin Fort, where it's all about the health, wealth, and freedom you need to live life your way, all the way. I'm Justin. I'm here in studio with my sidekick and executive assistant by day, Jennifer Carter. Hello. Good afternoon. And we welcome you to call us live at 512-643-5483 or send us questions and comments to ask at fortwm.com. Today, we are going to have a money expert on and arguably one of the cheapest people in America, Denise Winston. She knows the ins and outs of saving, budgeting, and investing. She was even featured in the Reader's Digest Cheapest People in America uh, section. Some people might not like being called cheap, but apparently Denise takes it as a compliment. To her, it's chic to be cheap. She loves nice things. She doesn't like to pay full price. Who does? Mm -hmm. I know I don't. Mm -mm. And when she knows she can get everything for less by working the system to her advantage... Well, why not? She does. Today, she'll teach you how to work the system to your advantage, too. I'm hoping to learn something myself. We can all improve in this area, right, Jennifer? Definitely, yes. And she'll tell us uh, all that you need to know about budgeting and, and using the money to you save to invest and live the way you want to have the health, wealth, and freedom you need to live life your way all the way. So we're very excited to have Denise Winston on. And you know, this subject... Uh, touches my heart uh, and is uh, you know definitely something that is in my mind daily, daily, daily. <laughs> thinking about uh, my budget, my personal situation, because you know as a financial professional, retirement planner, it's very difficult for not for me to not think about my money, not think about my financial future, not think about my budget, and of course I do. And as you know, you probably. Uh, listen to some of that my my past shows i i talk about how you know my upbringing i was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth either and i know that that for denise this is this is the same for her i had to uh you know i was on my own uh, my senior year of, of high school and i made lots and lots of really bad financial decisions i think the first credit card i got i just maxed it out and like most uh, mm -hmm. you know freshmen uh, in college uh, students they just don't pay it. Mm -hmm. And, and that was, I, I learned many, many lessons. And, uh, you know, since then, I, I've had to buckle down, work hard. And so I appreciate everything that that I have. And I appreciate the fact that I, I have those things because I've changed my mindset. I've changed my trajectory in life. I've decided to wake up and uh, take control and take responsibility for my situation and not blame others, not blame the system, but rather recognize that, that the system, our economy, uh, the, uh, the, the environment that we have, that we live in here in Texas, it is what it is. And it's up to each of us to determine how we're going to prioritize our spending, our budgeting, our work, our time, our, our, our freedom, all of these things so that we can live the way we want to and be responsible for ourselves. I think it's a great message to get out, especially to not only to everyone, but especially to uh, our youth, the millennials out there, people that are uh, just embarking in their careers mm -hmm. to have some guidance. And I know that I've said this uh, numerous times, at least in private, uh, that I feel that, that really the education system in a lot of ways, the K through 12 system has kind of failed uh, a lot of us in not providing us the essential tools that we need to be able to, to manage our finances in a, in a very tertiary, simple way, even, you know, mm -hmm. how do we pay taxes? I don't remember taking a course no. in high school. Mm -mm. How, how do we pay taxes? Right. What are tax brackets? Right. Mm -hmm. Why are we saving? What is what, how do credit card companies work? Right. Right. What does it mean to have a credit score? And, and, and on top of that, how, how expensive is it to live on your own? <laughs> you know? hmm. And I, I'm sure that a lot, of, uh, a, a lot of you listening right now are, are, are like nodding your head. Yeah, I mean, I did that. people should get that information. And you know what? We probably wouldn't have so many 25, 30, 35-year-olds living with their parents nowadays if they would have been given this kind of information early on. And that's why we're really excited to have Denise Winston on today. So, Jennifer, can you tell our, our everyone about uh, Denise? Yes, a little absolutely. Bit more? Um, Denise Winston has lived on her own since she was 16 and is now a 25-year veteran in the, bank, in the banking industry. She's a motivational speaker and author. She's also the founder of Money Starts Here, a financial education company. 
Uh, Her personal finance tips have appeared in national media ranging from The Wall Street Journal, Money, Martha Stewart Living Radio, ABC TV. And can she really help you save money and avoid costly mistakes? Let's find out. Welcome, Denise. How are you doing? It is so great to be here with you, Justin, Jennifer. Boy, I'm just smiling, nodding my head <laughs> as you're doing this. I'm going, oh my gosh, we're, we're of the same, you know, same cloth just because you're right. We make six to 10 financial decisions every single day, and yet it's not in our school system. Mm-hmm. And when we do teach it from the school bu- system, it's a, from a three inch book that is so boring and it's a snore fest. So, you know, really engaging with people and talking about real-life situations. We're going to all deal with money every day of our life, and every single one of those decisions do add up. And sometimes, just like you said, Justin, those those experiences when we're young can literally take us years and years and sometimes a lifetime to get out of those really costly mistakes. So, you know, I wrote my book just simply, if I had one an an hour with you, and when I do my my, um, real-world finance for high school and and college students, it's an hour and a half of, like, in-your-face, this is the boot camp, this is what you've got to know before you get out there in the harsh real world of finance. That's awesome. fantastic. And I and I, I applaud you for your efforts. I, I completely am behind you in this. And I know that, that many of my clients, when we talk to them about uh, uh, their children and the decisions mm-hmm. they're making, often they'll say, well, you know what, I don't want my children to make the decisions I made, the right. mistakes I made, but yet it's happening. And how do we break this cycle? We want to, you know, in our visit today, uh, we're going to talk uh, ab- about your book. We're going to talk about some of the tips that you have and some of the, the thinking patterns that I think all of us can find ourselves in at any level. I mean, you know, there are, are multimillionaires that I meet with that uh, in a lot of cases, they have uh, work to do and they know it. And so, you know, we all can improve what we're doing to achieve uh, maybe a better uh, position for ourselves in terms of what we really want out of life. And uh, that's what we're really going to be talking about here. And that's really what our show is all about. So we're so excited to have you on, uh, Denise, to, to help everybody get the word out, help, help everybody have a little more information that they can use to live life the way they want to. And when we come back, uh, we're going to be visiting more with Denise Winston. So you're going to want to uh, uh, stay tuned and uh, listen to what she's got to say, how it can improve your life and maybe the lives of your children, your neighbors, uh, and, and posterity to come. So this is Justin, Retirement Journey Talk 1370. This is Talk 1370. You're listening to Retirement Journey with Justin Fort. You can call us live at 512-643-5483. Send us questions and comments to ask at fortwm.com. If you have a question for Denise Winston, uh, feel free to to call us today. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, Matt, uh, our board op, is ready to take your call. Uh, Denise Winston is a financial expert and author of It's Your Money, Uh, Avoid Costly Mistakes. And we're visiting uh, with you, Denise, today because we want to get the message out. And I know that you do. This is uh, your life's work, your passion now. Uh, And it comes from uh, your experiences and and all the things that make you who you are. I I took uh, the opportunity to read uh, read your book and really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the simplicity uh, of a lot of the, the tips and the uh, the pitfalls that you put through uh, to this book. And I think it's a very helpful book for uh, really anyone to, to read. You know, I think it, anyone at any level can get something out of it for sure. Uh, people that are completely lost, this will be a great <laughs> uh, set of uh, facts that they probably mm-hmm. never considered. Right. Uh, and, you know, I think our, you know, reading about your background as well, Denise, you you had it pretty tough. Uh, you know, in your book, you talk about how you were on your own at 16. And can you tell us a little bit about about that and what led you into banking and becoming kind of a financial guru? Well, you know, it's interesting. I'm like a lot of people out there listening today. You know, our upbringing can be challenging. And I found myself at 16 with a lot going on with my parents and just, you know, not, I certainly wasn't just going, hey, I'm just going to whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So you, you're, you, I found myself going to, to high school, you know, working four jobs and trying to put food on the table and, uh, you know, shelter over my head and clothes on my back. And um, what you find is that when there's no one to catch you, and I think that's what happens a lot in our society, 
right now is, and I have a 25 year old daughter. So a lot of times we want to scoop up our kids and protect them and not allow them to make the mistakes that we made. But by golly, you know what? I turned out pretty good. Um, and sometimes scraping your knees and learning the hard from, you know, the hard ways um, isn't so bad. And so I wouldn't change any of that. But what I did find is because I had to deal with money every day and make a very, very small amount go very far and still manage my time and manage my money, um, what better way to just start working in the bank and figuring out how the rich get richer and how the poor get poorer and how the bank makes this money and how the system operates. Um, And so that's what I did. And so for 25 years, I got to see basically pull back the curtain on on people. And and it's interesting what you find out as a banker and and what really goes on in people's everyday financial lives. And, And for me to be able to extract that information and start teaching it to young people um, from, you know, uh, starting like 20-something years ago and and putting that practice into my life, at some point you start realizing, wow, as a banker, you see it over and over. People make the same mistakes because they're misinformed and undereducated. And so when I got more and more requests like, well, how do I read this loan document? And and what do you mean you're checking my credit score when when I apply for a job? Why would you do that? And, you know, people just simply don't know how these small things can add up to huge, um, costly mistakes over their financial life. Yeah, right. I totally agree. Now, there's someone listening right now that is struggling financially. I can say I'm probably one of them. (laughs) Um, So they're obviously not alone. Why do you think so many people are struggling financially? You know, it is because we're, we are lured through the temptation of, you know, I think we receive 1,500 um, consumer ads every single day. We are busy. We, we work hard. We just want to relax. And, and money is complicated. Or it appears to be complicated. And we're just tempted constantly. And we want to upgrade, upgrade our lifestyle. We want the bigger, cell, you know, the better cell phone. We want the, the newer car. And we simply don't stop and realize that, that we are in control, and Justin said this in the intro, you know, taking that responsibility and stopping, and, and you know, I do these talks on how to get what you want, um, but the question is, stop long enough to figure out what it is that you want. Do you want a better financial situation? And, you know, money is one of those things that affects every aspect of our life. It's a leading cause of divorce in the United States. When you are financially stressed, it suppresses your immune system, which makes you sick, which makes you not be able to be as productive at work and make so much, you know, make money. Um, It just has every single area of our life, yet we never stop, figure out what we want, and give every single dollar in our budget a job, right? Mm-hmm. And it's really about that consumerism strategy. It's just like when you're playing a video game. You know what the end game is. You know what you want. Um, and you come up with strategies as you play that video game. Yeah. So it needs to be the same as with our money. I like to think about money. Let's have a little fun. It can be a game. You know, can you win? And what do you want to win? Right. And, you know, I, I love what you're saying about prioritization. That is the key to, to I think, everything uh, in life is you're prioritizing uh, what's most important to you, and then spending the time and resources uh, towards those things are most important in order. And, Correct. And budgeting, you know, because of what I do at Fort Wealth Management uh, during the day, uh, my job is to help people understand how to use the resources that they have to be able to produce uh, an income from those resources uh, to the maximum level so they don't run out that, so that they can then go and do the things that are important to them. Money is a means to an end. It's a power source. And often I feel that, you know, when, when we have very negative, uh, uh, individuals that, that, that may come in and, and visit with me about their, they're negative about their situation. They just really kind of almost given up, uh, in a lot of ways, their priorities get completely mismatched and they start to really judge themselves maybe because they lost money in the stock market or they uh, uh, judge their future and, and, and begin to make make decisions that are just compoundedly worse. And to change the mindset and to show people that, that really they ought to care about the, the, the situation that they're in and look at what they can do rather than look at spilt milk, uh, 
I think is the most important thing that we can possibly do. And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to The Retirement Journey with Justin Fort, where it's all about the health, wealth, and freedom you need to live life your, all way, your way all the way. And I'm Justin, and you can call us live at 512-643-5483 or send us questions and comments to ask at fortwm.com. We're visiting with Denise Winston, financial expert and author of It's Your Money, Avoid Costly Mistakes. And you can call and, and give a, a, ask a question of Denise. If you've got something burning on your mind, if there's uh, something you're, you're concerned about, can you, uh, h- how can you seek help for uh, maybe spending if, if this is the case? And, you know, Denise, in my mind, uh, spending, budgeting, our, our financial situation is a lot like other things like, like diet in, in a way. I was you just know? thinking the same thing. A budget's <laughs> it's, just like a calorie, right? A dollar is just like a calorie. We know that one pound is 3,500 calories. If we eat too much you know, and don't exercise, um, we're going to have a problem. And I think that's what happens with credit cards. Credit cards are one of the most dangerous things that we have in our pocket because they used to be like a financial spare tire, right? Like a spare tire on your car. You kind of forget about that it's there until an emergency happens. Mm-hmm. But, but nowadays, we just use it as a means of getting what we, immediate gratification, um, which is a really dangerous place to be because, again, you get lured into that. That, that frenzy, you walk into the store and the music's playing, Christmas is coming, right? Uh, if, you, if you don't have a Christmas budget, you're going to walk into that store, the music's playing, you've got the cinnamon smell of the pine cones and, you know, all these deals. And the next thing you know, you've bought one for them and two for you, and you're out of your budget. Oh, See, that's this, so true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this gets me so upset sometimes. With just, uh, It seems like we, almost every month or two, we have something come up, some kind of a, a holiday or something, right. you know, whether it's Valentine's Day, and of course, I'm not against buying flowers and things like that, but it seems like the prices go up just before, Mm -hmm. and it's tough to save a buck when uh, it seems like our society and the the pressures we may have uh, in terms of, uh, you know, what we think is the right way to live uh, sometimes causes us to spend money that we don't have to spend. Right. You know, too, Justin, there's one calculation that everybody out there can do that can literally change the way they think about and deal with money. And do you want me to share that with you now? Absolutely. Okay, so we all have something that is the same. Each one of us has 24 hours in a day. And how you spend your time is just like how you spend your money. And you can do three things with your time. You can spend it, you can waste it, or you can invest it. Just like with your money, you can spend it, you can waste it, or you can invest it. So when you think about it this way, when you, you know, if you work for an organization or if you're self-employed, if you stop and you take your paycheck and you figure out how much you are bringing home for every single hour you work, your net hourly take-home pay, This one number, because people will tell me all the time, Denise, I am too tired at the end of the day to use a coupon or to use a Groupon or to find a better deal. And and I'll say, really? Okay, well, let's let's think about that. So if you you took your paycheck and you've divided it down and you took your hours divided by your net pay, let's just say that you bring home $25 for every hour that you work. Your time is money. You clock in at work, you get your paycheck. Same goes if you're looking at that very cool, wonderful pair of shoes, if you look at that and say, gosh, they're 150 hours, do I really want to work six hours for those shoes? (laughs) Right? Right. I mean, you have to think about it that way. And if if so many people think again, (laughs) I think Jennifer might. (laughs) <laughs> well, she might. You, and some people, you know, the other thing you, you alluded to, we, we get so stressed and we are so busy. We also self-medicate. Everybody, I like retail therapy. Mm-hmm. That's what I call it. Yes. So, you know, I like to shop. Somebody else yes. might want to go to dinner. Somebody else might want to play fantasy football. Somebody else might. And I, I'm not saying never do those things, but when you really think about how much your time is worth, just like somebody sitting down with you, so I'm sure you see this all the time, they'll spend more time in planning a vacation to spend five thousand dollars, then they're going to spend you know that same time sitting down with you and really finding a strategy that is going to help them save enough money so that they can retire and not be dependent on anyone else and have the freedom to, like you said, be healthy and wealthy and live the life they want. Right. Right, and you know that's that that there's a some some uh, statistic or something they said that something like uh, uh, for the average vacation, most people will spend two weeks per, <laughs> planning and preparing. And they won't spend two weeks planning, preparing for retirement. And that's my big, a big mantra. So I, I completely uh, agree with you that 
the, the time and resources need to be spent on our priorities. And time is one of the only things on the planet that even uh, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett can't get more of. And the very wealthy uh, that I work with understand that that's the case, and they want to prioritize so that they can live the way they want to live and maybe even retire sooner uh, than later uh, be, by making smart financial decisions. And when we get back from this break, we're going to visit more with Denise Winston about her book. She's a financial expert and author of It's Your Money, Avoid Costly Mistakes. We want you to avoid those costly mistakes and live life your way, all the way, and enjoy. We'll be back here after this break. I'm Justin, Retirement Journey Talk 1370. This is Talk 1370. You're listening to Retirement Journey with Justin Fort. You can call us live at 512-643-5483 or send us your questions and comments to ask at fortwm.com. We're visiting with Denise Winston, financial expert and author of It's Your Money, Avoid Costly Mistakes. And you know what? We have a couple of copies of her book. We do. Right yes. here. And if you would call us at that 512-643-5483 number, we will gladly get you a copy of Denise's book. You're going to want to read it. It can really help change your life and even the lives. After you read it, you can probably give it to the, Pass it on, the, yeah. the yeah, and one of your friends or relatives that you feel uh, could use a little bit of help. Mm-hmm. And that's what uh, we're, we're trying to do here is we're trying to change lives on this radio show and help everybody that we can in the ways that we can. And Denise, we're back and we want to do, um, talk a little bit more about your book yeah, tell tell us um, or the listeners um, that want to know about everyday ways to save. And then in your book, you also mention disguised money. If you can let us know what that means, I call it camouflage cat, camouflage cash, mm. camo oh. cash to me, camo cash, <laughs> camo cash. I mean, there's money literally hiding everywhere. And I dedicated an entire chapter in my book um, just about you know different ways that you can strategize about how to get a better deal, um, whether it is eating out, whether it's shopping online, whether it is, you know, going to the movies, you name it. But there's some camouflage cash right in your wallet. Um, and most people don't even look at it. When you look in your wallet, maybe you just see, I don't know, most people don't carry cash anymore. Um, but they see a bunch of credit cards or debit cards. But, you know, if you, you're in a college town or you've got some, just say you've got some really good organizations there, if you have a work ID in your wallet, you know, a lot of times that work ID um, can get you a discount on your cell phone plan through employee benefits. Hmm. It might be able to get you discounts at restaurants. <laughs> um, you know, it, it really has the ability to um, gym memberships. Gosh, they're everywhere, right? Just by using your company ID. I'm looking in my wallet right now, Denise. <laughs> okay, what do you see? Do you see maybe a AAA card? I'm a little a colorblind, card? so <laughs> <laughs> I see $20. <laughs> Even your driver's license. Think about pictures it. Your driver's license. <laughs> no. What'd you say? I'm just. Jo- I'm joking. I saw, I saw pictures of my kids. I see... Um, no, you're right. You're right. We we there, there's definitely hidden money out there. We're, we I'm sure I pass by my fair share. All of us do day in and day out. And and you are definitely an expert in this area at pointing this stuff out. So continue. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. That's okay. But you know, even even if somebody has like a AAA card or some type of um, you know card that helps you with roadside assistance, a lot of times if you go to that company's website, you will find that there are shopping discounts. You can buy movie tickets at a discount. You know, I. I I think that really it boils down in our day-to-day lives. We know that we're going to eat out, right? Right. We, we know that we want to meet with friends. We know that we're going to be tired. So just even, let's talk about eating out, because I find that that is the number one budget buster, mm-hmm. um, is that we simply spend too much eating out. So thinking about that, again, strategizing as a consumer, you know what's going to happen. That's tough. So, so what if you took a 30-second commute to your computer this weekend and you simply looked around for some discounts? Now, there are all kinds of ways to do that. You could go to – there's Groupon. There is the um, entertainment.com, which is awesome. There's restaurant.com. Basically, all of those um, – 
offers, there are there are restaurants in your town that want you as a as a customer. They want you to try their product and service, right? So they're going to give it to you as a at a discount. Now, the most important thing is to make sure that you you know read the fine print when you're on there, um, that you understand the offer that you're getting, and then when you go to that restaurant, you can so easily spend save fifty dollars. I mean, sorry, fifty percent off of your meal. Um, just by using one of those one of those um, offers. The other thing you can do is, gosh, happy hour is a great way to get some, mm. some decent food, right? So just looking at your watch and saying, okay. And, and I find a lot of times with young people, um, especially when they're new to the, the professional world, they really want to look and act the part. And a lot of times they go out for happy hour, go out for dinner, and yet they can't afford it. Have you experienced this with some of your clients? Uh, well, even personally. Yeah. So, so you want to keep up with the Joneses. And I have a lot of, especially young professional women come to me and they say, gosh, Denise, I really want to go. What do I do? This is where you can take control. Do a little bit of research about the happy hours in your, in your area, you know, and, and figure out, you take control, plan the place and plan the time and make sure that you, you know what the menu is and what the budget is. Um, and, you know, right now with all the technology, this doesn't mean that one person has to pick up the check, right? You can all just, just going in and we all know we have that person that will show up at a happy hour and not put forth their amount and order the most expensive food or the most expensive, you know, you know this person, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So making sure that you know that those little zappers are going to be there too. Um, The other thing you can do when you're eating out is sign up for the rewards. Um, A lot of times they will send to your email box, your inbox, you'll get a ping and it'll be a free entree just for being a part of the rewards member. And one of the most, the easiest things that you can do is look at your bill. So many times there's a, there's a mistake on your bill, um, and you're paying for your food, so really looking at that bill is important. But what, when you get your check, you'll also have a server that will put a big smiley face and write thank you and mm-hmm. say, you know, if you do this survey, it really helps me out. She circles the phone number and the promo code. Have you mm-hmm. seen that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so so the great thing is that most of the time they will give you free product and service for doing that survey, and for they want you to come back. So let's just say that that survey is. Do you think that that survey on the phone or your computer? Do you think it would even take ten minutes? No. Okay. Be a good five let's minutes. just say it did, but and it saved you ten dollars in food the next time you went. Mm-hmm. So if you did that ten times or you did that six times, that basically equ- equates to sixty dollars an hour, doesn't it? Yes. So. I'm, I'm good with net $60 an hour. I, I think that's a pretty good hourly wage. Yeah. I think well, in m- fact, you know, can I, can I even uh, put, put a little more uh, emphasis into Absolutely. the fact that that's a, that's a net number. And Correct. Uh, in my opinion, uh, and mathematically speaking, I think I'm backed up on this one. It's better to save a dollar than it is to make one because you don't have to deal with Uncle Sam. On the front. You don't have to, and exactly, and and that, that that dollar becomes your employee, right? You get to tell it what to do, and ultimately you want to gather all those. I call them making money babies. Yeah, we we want employees and money making babies, not lemmings, right? Exactly. <laughs> want, you know, the you dollars that fall that, off. <laughs> you want that dollar, and the great thing is that everybody that's listening to your show today, today, they're getting that compound, kind of like compound interest. You know, you want. The, the, the knowledge that they're getting by listening to your show each week is they are building on their knowledge and they are learning little ways that they can do what they can do and they get to implement that life. So if somebody, let's just say you spent this afternoon, you said, I'm going to find $10 this month. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can find, save $10 on one of my monthly bills. And they call their cable company or their cell phone company, and they change their plan. They save ten dollars a month. That so works. I personally have experience with that. I compl- <laughs> I've done that before, where I've called I've called the cable company. I said, you know, we're having some issues or something, and really we were having issues. Mm-hmm. But just the fact of calling, I said, you know, by the way, I would just wanted to talk about about my plan and. Is there something better? And you know what? Every time I get a discount, mm-hmm. oh, well, we can actually put you on this plan, and it's basically the same. It's just twenty percent less. Oh well, how long has that been around? Oh, for a year. Exactly. You didn't and, call and me. Did it, <laughs> they didn't call me. How long did it take for you to make that call? It didn't take 10 minutes. So that, right. that $10 turns into $120 this year. And again, thinking about, gosh, is $120 an hour a good hourly wage for me to spend 10 minutes to find $10? Right. So um, call, serv- call service providers and haggle. Exactly. <laughs> call <laughs> service providers and haggle. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I, 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 I've said this before with family members uh, and, and clients. If you, if you don't ask, right. you're probably not going to get. And if you do ask, 
what what could happen? Mm -hmm. No. Right. But if you get a yes, then hey, <laughs> that could be a big deal. You know, we get we pay for many many things in this life. I know that uh, there the you know my wife does a lot of the uh, the budgeting at the in, at the house, you know, paying bills, and I mean, there's there's many. It, it add up. It's almost mm -hmm. like you know nowadays life seems to happen to where we're nickel and dimed, and we end up yeah. with all of these you know almost leeches or mosquitoes of mm -hmm. uh, of uh, bills and debts that that kind of pile up. You know, thirty dollars here, ten dollars there, and oh my gosh, I've been paying for that thing I haven't used in two years. Mm -hmm. You know, and so so let's put a challenge out there to everybody today. Let's just say that this afternoon somebody sits down and they're going to look at their credit card bill or their bank account, and they're going to look through that bill. And they're going to see if there's a gym membership, if there is a birch box, some type of something that they have on a subscription monthly basis that they are no longer using. And what, they, what we can do is just challenge everybody to sit down, take 10 minutes. It's not even going to take you 10 minutes to look at that bill and do something mm -hmm. and save yourself that money and maybe invest it. Put that money aside for yourself. Um, you know, my book is full of these tips and checklists and everything that you need to know so that you can get control of your money. It really is... It's not as difficult as it seems. It really just takes some focus and hearing it from the right person in the right way. So when someone orders my book, um, it really is about the checklists, whether it's, you know, evaluating that credit card or signing a loan document or learning how to save or, you know, finding ways to save money in everyday life. You know, one resource like that, my book can literally be worth thousands of dollars to one person just if they use it. Just stop, sit down, spend 10 minutes, right? And remember, we have two of them right here for you. So we want you to give us a call at 512-643-5483. And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to The Retirement Journey with Justin Fort, where it's all about the health, wealth, and freedom. You need to live life your way all the way. And call us for that book. Call us to give us a question, uh, ask a question to Denise or myself or Jennifer. Again, it's 512-643-5483. And we're visiting with Denise Winston about your money. Denise gave us all a challenge to go check our credit card statements, check our bills, look for things that maybe are there that uh, we're not aware of, that, that uh, are just draining us uh, drop by drop uh, over time and can really add up over the long run. And it, I tell you, it will impact your retirement. As a retirement planner there at Fort Wealth Management during the day, I work with people just like you that have had to go through life just like you, working hard to save their money and are looking at how they're going to be able to put together this retirement thing. And you're going to need every dime you've got. You're going to want those, that money to be spent for you and your family, not the government, and not, not lost to things that you are not your priorities. So prioritize and let's, let's take control. I know all of my clients love to be in control, and that's one thing that I do at Fort Wealth Management. And, and again, if you'd like to visit with us during the week, you can give us a call at 512-433-6492. Jennifer is really friendly and happy to uh, assist you in getting a time uh, to visit with me, myself, come into the office, and, and we can just chat about your situation, your retirement uh, plan. And just like we were talking with uh, Denise about prioritizing, looking at time, and, and how we, we uh, 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 evaluate uh, our priorities, it's important to put things into perspective sometimes. And sometimes when we're looking at spending money, I think what Denise said is we're, she, she, she would like you to put that in terms of time. How much time does it take you to work, to, to earn some kind of a net amount after taxes, to, to be able to purchase the things that you're considering purchasing? And that's exactly the same thing. Uh, the same analogy applies uh, with retirement planning. How, if we don't have a good plan in place, that may mean, and you don't have a good budget in place, or, or you're spending more in taxes than you have to, that may mean that you have to spend an additional one, two, three, maybe even five years working when you wouldn't have to, if you were just smart, those camo dollars that, that Denise is talking about that you might find in your wallet, I'm still looking. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find them. I'm going to take up Denise's challenge uh, here after the show today uh, and go through. I'm sure I could probably save myself a few hundred dollars, dollars a month um, on some of the things that are just sitting there. And the same argument applies to your retirement. You got to have a checkup. I'm more than happy to do it with you. Uh, to look at those things that you could be, could we save you fees in what you're doing? All of these things uh, will matter and impact you. 
And Denise, we're going to go to a break, but we're going to we're going to keep you on. I've got a, a couple of other points that I want uh, to discuss with you. I'm sure our our listening audience is going to get a lot out of this. And so when we get back, we're going to do that. I'm Justin. This is Retirement Journey Talk 1370. Talk 1370, you're listening to Retirement Journey with Justin Fort, where it's all about the health, wealth, and freedom you need to live life your way all the way. You can call us at 512-643-5483, and we will give you It's Your Money, Avoid Costly Mistakes, written by author Denise Winston, financial expert. And she's been there, done that. She knows... uh, uh, you know, inside and out, how to do this thing called budgeting and how to get control of one's life and take full responsibility of it. And I think that's what we really need in this country. Uh, look around. Most Americans are in trouble. Most people have more debt than savings. Most people are relying on market risk to make up for the savings they didn't put away. Uh, I can't stress more, uh, you know, the the folks that I visit with that are very financially secure, they were just savers. They were good at budgeting. They took control. They didn't take big, big risks. You know, they took moderate risks. They took they, they took uh, reasonable risks. Uh, they didn't roll the roulette table trying to double, triple money that, uh, that they're going to need for retirement because they failed to do those things that they needed to. They failed to have the self-control to be able to budget. And, and, I, and I know that all of us can do that. And we need to stop the negative talk. All of us, myself included, I'm not perfect. All of us need to do better at this thing. And you know what? We're going to have a better country for it. We're going to have a better community for it. The more financially secure we, our neighbors are, our community is, the better our education system will be, the better our healthcare system will be, and on and on and on and on. And that's really what this show is all about, to help um, everybody listening. You're, we, we do it house by house. We start with ourselves and then we share our, uh, our good experiences with our friends and neighbors. Uh, and, and we try to try to just do better with, uh, with this thing called money and it will impact our lives, health, wealth, and, fr- and freedom. And Denise, um, there's a, there's a section in your book. Uh, this is actually page, uh, 63 from your book. I really love this, this concept and you put it into, into, uh, terms of, uh, uh, purchasing something on credit or a debt. And I really love what you said here. And, and if you don't mind, um, could I just read a, a piece from this? Please do. Okay. You, you say this is a tip here. And I, I love how you have these little tips here and <laughs> don't do this here. And it's really kind of fun to, to read. To be safe, quote, live as if for three months with your new payment, you can make sure you can really afford it. Living as if means paying yourself the difference between your current payment and the new one you're considering. It's also extremely important to include any additional expenses your new payment will incur. So, you know, you're talking about a new car. You might want to talk about, you, know, you might want to think about the gas mileage it gets, the, uh, the, the insurance uh, it's going to cost. You know, you buy a really expensive vehicle. Some people don't think about the insurance cost. That's a, that can be an expense. And I love the fact, this concept, spending three months or four months practicing, 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 and planning for the debt rather than one day at a stoplight deciding to turn right into the <laughs> into the dealership because you saw this really cool car and you've just decided I'm going to have it right now that impulse buying without planning can be disastrous and very dangerous oh gosh yes for all for <laughs> all of us we have to curb our passions we have to remember uh, we're human mm-hmm. right Oh, if I, you only knew the stories that I have seen when I do my corporate wellness workshops, I'll tell you what, I had a person, they pu- did exactly that. Her air conditioning is very hot here in, in where I live as well. She pulled into a dealership because her air conditioning was not working and she was upset and she bought a brand new car. Mm. Now we know that when we, when we buy a brand new car, you lose about 60% of the value in the first five years. So if you... You know, I don't know how many people out there would would want a, a 99% um, loss 
guaranteed in five years. I know they would all want if we if we if we put out there that we could get you a sixty percent increase in your you know investment, they'd all right. find out. But right. but everybody these are does good. it all. Yeah, these all are almost the guaranteed things. <laughs> exactly, and then they finance the car, and right. that's one of those things. And so doing that exactly what you said that tip in my book, and thank you for for those little tips and don't be this guy and all this fun stuff in there is really designed to help you make those decisions and living as if just putting that money aside. Sometimes what you'll find is you'll be able to pay cash for that item if you just continue doing that instead of putting it on credit. Because anytime you have credit, if someone else has a right to your paycheck, they own you. They own every financial right. decision you make until that debt is paid off. And we don't realize it. You talked a lot about it earlier, Justin. You're giving up your freedom whenever you are not taking control. And Absolutely. it's really not as hard as we think it is to stop and sit down and do a little bit of planning with a simple pen and paper or an Excel spreadsheet. And, the, and really the control that we, we have when we have control is because we have control of ourselves. Yes. First. We can't yes. have control of the universe and the, uh, the, uh, the, the, our financial situation if we can't control ourselves. And we, you know, we have that duality sometimes I see in, in people. They'll, they'll say, well, I want this, but I also want that. And they're conflicting ideas. We need to determine and conflict, what we want. Conflicting priorities. And mm-hmm. we also think that because, just because John did it, that, well, everybody else is doing it. Oh. You hear about it in the news. Everybody's refinancing. Everybody's mm-hmm. doing this, that, or the other. So you mm-hmm. think, well, if they're doing it, then I can do it. Well, we still have to take ownership. And, you know, something else happens to us. I kind of think when someone has their financial self together, I think it's kind of dare I say, it's almost kind of sexy, right? I mean, when they have their, they have their credit is good, they have, they're in control of their money, they have a solid car, they, they know exactly where everything's going, you know, that is very, very attractive in a lot of different ways. And that is someone that projects that confidence and knows where they're going and knows what they want instead of allowing everyday little, you know, temptations take over and just, you know, making really costly mistakes that take forever to to overcome in our lifetime. And again, that's Denise Winston, financial expert and author of It's Your Money, Avoid Costly Mistakes. We still have two copies here, and uh, you can give us a call at 512-643-5483 and uh, talk to us now, and we will get you this copy of her book. It's a great read. It's very important uh, that uh, you understand this information, and you may get something out of it. Uh, You may get a lot out of it. You may be able to uh, get something out of it and then then pass this book on to someone else. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, Denise, uh, talking about practicing uh, a, a payment I just wanted to mention that uh, one thing that I do in my retirement planning practice is if I've got somebody, for example, that comes in and says to me, well, in the next year or so, uh, I'm going to retire. And, uh, and I ask them, well, what do you think uh, the income is that you feel like you're going to need to have coming in? Because we need to plan for that income. And yep. they may say, well, you know what? I think I could probably live off of uh, $45,000 a year. I think that's okay. Okay, well, how much are you making today? I'll ask. And they'll say something like 150000 Okay, so you must be saving a lot of money. Well, well, not, not really. Well, where's that money going? Uh, well, uh, I'm not really <laughs> sure. Uh, you know, so this is a very, uh, this is a red flag for me as a planner. I, I immediately look at that scenario and I think, okay, if I, if I build a plan for these people to help them understand how to, to secure a $45,000 a year income that they cannot live, it's probably not going to work for them unless there's something majorly, you know, ma- major and d- drastic that's going to change, uh, between, uh, now and then, uh, with respect to their situation. And I think that, you know, what I like to do in those scenarios is I say, well, why don't we practice? Why don't you save the difference there? Just like you said in your book on the debt, th- on the debt side. So someone in that situation would have to save something in the neighborhood of $100,000 a year. And when I ask them that, can you afford to do that? The answer, if the answer is no, then that tells me one of two things. Either we can't retire yet or we really need to adjust the amount of money that, that, that we're going to be spending in retirement. And I'll tell you, there's so many statistics now uh, related to how much retirees are actually spending in retirement, and it's much more than people think. You know, retirement isn't a, uh, a, a, an area where we're void of uh, inflation and other things like that. We have to be better prepared for it and have to have a realistic understanding and have to plan. So I just love the concept, and, and, it, and it's true across the board with debt, uh, Denise, like you said here in the book. Uh, practicing and planning goes a long way. 
spending a little well, bit of uh, time, right? Well, and, and you, you bring up such a great point because this is part of the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and so passionate about teaching people. As a banker, I would have 99.9% of the people come in and ask me, Denise, how much of a house payment can I afford? And you do not want the banker making that decision for you because they don't know what your habits are. They don't know that you like retail therapy. They don't know that you like to go out to dinner because they're going to put these debt-to-income ratios, which I talk about in my book, and, and those ratios are really important. So I think that you know, practicing, uh, whether it is living on a certain income or practicing for an extra payment, is one of the, the most wonderful things we can do for ourselves. But really, it boils down to figuring out where all of our money is going. Every single month, that paycheck comes in, and before you know it, it's all gone. And then we're using our credit card, and we don't even realize it, right? And it's making the problem worse. So I I love, love, love that you are doing that with your clients. I think that's brilliant. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, we love what you're doing, Denise. And and if someone wants to get a copy of your book, aside from calling us uh, and getting a copy for free, how might they also go about getting a copy of your book? They can go to denisewinston.com, um, or they can go to Amazon and type in It's Your Money. Um, it's Your Money is really an easy way to think about it, and people can remember me by, like, Winston Churchill, um, Winston Tires, you name it. There's a lot of different ways to think about Winston and money. You put those two things together, and, and you'll find me on the Internet, and that will lead you to either a copy of my book, hard copy, or a download. And, and for those that are listening, really, the, the main thing here is that, just like listening to your show, no matter where you are in your financial life, there is always something that we can pick up as a tip to make we need to share what we know so I love your suggestion about reading the book and passing it on because we all know somebody that is struggling financially um, or we know a young person that is getting ready to go out in the harsh real world of finance and oftentimes our youth don't want to listen to parents, but I'm kind of that cool chick money lady that, you know, hey, she <laughs> said this based on, you know, what she what she learned. Because we, we want to be smart about our money, and, and really those small things add up over time, just like, you know, you can't expect to retire um, tomorrow um, without saving this whole time. It's just like you can't expect to lose that 50 pounds by dieting for a week. You can't have that immediate gratification. So these small things and avoiding those really expensive mistakes can make all the difference in the world of you getting to where you want to be. Well, but we have to figure out where we want to be, right? Yes. And Denise, we, we have to go to a hard break, but I do have, uh, I do have Carrie uh, uh, on the line said and wants to ask you a question. When we get back from the break, we'll, uh, we'll answer, uh, have Carrie uh, ask you some questions and maybe get uh, Carrie a copy of this book. I'm Justin. This is Retirement Journey, Talk 1370. This is Talk 1370. You're listening to Retirement Journey with Justin Fort. And we are back with Denise Winston, financial expert and author of It's Your Money, Avoid Costly Mistakes. And our show is uh, coming to an end, but we wanted to make sure that uh, Carrie... How are you doing? You had a, a question for myself or uh, Denise. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I didn't have a real specific question, but I just called in because I like what you know. I like what I'm hearing, and I wanted to read the book. Fantastic. I, I thought of a question. <laughs> Thanks. So my question, I thought of a question during the hold, and I think just basically, you know, I'm, I'm right there. I've read Dave Ramsey. I've got my, um, you know, I've got a little savings, but I'm 50 and. I, I, I make sixty thousand a year, and I'm in a teacher retirement system. I've got six years before I can earliest eligible eligible retirement, and um, I just I want to save more, and I have more goals, and I really have I'm a free spirit, and I have a hard time sticking to a budget. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not alone, Carrie. You are not alone. But and the most wonderful thing is that you're making this call, right? Yeah. So I I think, you know, and I'll let Justin chime in. I think that, you know, really thinking about your time and how you want to spend it in six years, that's not very far. You know, connecting with Justin and getting a copy of my book and really hunkering down and making a strategic plan, but yet allowing yourself some freedoms, especially if you're a free spirit, you know that you're going to be tempted to, you know, be creative or take a trip or Mm -hmm. buy this to increase the the comfort of your home, whatever your thing is. Um, You know, it's, it's exciting that you're willing to 
step up and, and make a call and connect, um, because that's, that's how people get to where they want to be, by taking action. And Carrie, I'll just let you know that uh, I'm very familiar with planning with uh, educators, and uh, that's really uh, one of my major backgrounds there. So you're going to want to know some things uh, definitely about TRS, the 403B, and things like that, and healthcare through that program. But uh, we're going to reach out to you. Jennifer's got your uh, contact information, and we'll make sure that you get a copy of uh, Denise's book. We really thank you for uh, giving us a call today. Yes. Great. Thanks a lot. All right. You take care. And we actually have... uh, uh, another another caller uh, that okay okay well actually we're at at the end of the show my my board ops telling me that we can't take any more calls so uh, great show Denise thank you so much for being on and you you stuck out the whole hour with us yes, we really appreciate you being fabulous. on and we'd love to have you back another time Denise definitely anytime I'm here thank you Jennifer Justin and everybody listening just know that you're not alone and there is help for you just reach out and grab it fantastic thank, thank you, you so much. All right. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, The retirement journey is uh, over for today, but we'll be back next week. And I'm so excited to be back next week because I have the whole hour to myself. Not that I don't love having guests on like (laughs) Denise today. She was wonderful. But I really want to hunker down and talk about retirement planning, uh, my, my beliefs, my philosophies, what's important, what you need to know to make sure that you don't run out of money and can spend as much as you can and leave the legacy of your dreams if that's what you want. And again, my job at Fort Wealth Management and what we're going to be talking about next week is how to do whatever it is that you're trying to do, but maybe better. We're going to talk about how to do this retiring thing in a low return environment, low interest rates, volatile markets. What are we going to do about it? How can we get this job done? And what am I doing in the office day in and day out with my uh, clients to make this work? things that you need to know. Again, thank you so much for listening and sharing our our, uh, show with your friends and neighbors. We're growing by leaps and bounds. And thank you again for Carrie for giving us a call. We appreciate the uh, the call. We'll make sure you get that book. And Denise Winston, thank you so much for being on. And we will see you next week again. I'm Justin. This is Retirement Journey Talk 1370.